everyone and welcome to the MGN channel. I'm your host Cornish. Today we're going to be reviewing a wonderful game and that game is Scrap Mechanic. Scrap Mechanic is a wonderful sandbox open world game where you can craft things, build a farm, produce them and send them off to trade. Now it's like a tower defense meets farming simulator, first person, third person as well. And when I say about the whole um, farming simulator and tower defense, now you, your character itself has crash landed onto a mysterious planet where it's run by robots that uh, used to be farm robots until they went on strike. Considering your chances, you need to build, scrap, break down and turn things into the ultimate vehicle to get yourself surviving around this planet. Unfortunately, when you place down your farm, you will eventually get a time limit where the robots will come after you and destroy your farm because they don't like farming at all. They don't like farming, hence why you see all the broken, abandoned buildings around. We should have enough for a... What are we doing again? Oh, we're making a conveyor belt. This thing. Oh, a, oh no, no, we're going to make a drill. Ooh. Okay. okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> okay. I need more wheels, of course. Okay, we, we, we need more scrap. There are some cool enemies on there, and with with that being said as well, uh, if you manage to get your farm ready and you process a lot of things, make sure you build yourself a big truck. We'll get around to building in a second. But uh, once you take all the stuff you've got uh, to the guy, you can upgrade yourselves with actual armed weapons uh, instead of just using melee weapons. Um, there are some great enemies around there. There are some pitchfork ones. There, are, There's just loads right now. I even and comprehend to see loads of them. You've got the small ones, you've got the guys with the pitchforks, and then you've got the giant dude with a, a scythe and a, and, a, a, and a chemical gun. I have no idea. I've never seen him yet. But uh, the game is big. The game in survival mode is massive. Having a few of your friends uh, is, is, is a great laugh. Um, we had three, we had two other people with us uh, building a place. Uh, we was only building a little bit in an area before we actually took off. Um, we wanted to get everything together. And then the cool thing is if you want to move a location, you can just pack all your stuff up and then just put it in a van you've made and drive off. All right, the suspension is holding up. Have we got everything? <laughs> but with, with that being said, let's talk about the the building of vehicles. Now, I'm no I'm no incredible builder. I I don't know how to build the coolest looking cars or the the biggest van. But I do know how to build a vehicle, a moving four wheel. So I tell you one thing, though. I I, I found it hilarious in the game uh, when you're driving because you uh, you've got this engine which you can turn faster, and then you've got the moving and going. And uh, the ragdoll, the ragdoll in the game is hilarious. If you drive too fast in a vehicle, uh, you end up just <laughs> flying out instead of just getting out. <laughs> and um, We've had so many laughs with that kind of ragdoll, so here's a little clip montage of... of that. My brother's in the thing, he's only 10. Oh, I'm clipping that! Get away! 
My fault, dude. We need that. Oh, Tofty! <laughs> no! <laughs> there are like raid places where you can go to take out a boss. There are more. I think there's a couple of boss fights now on here. There are so many things to craft in the game and there is a lot to take in because you need to eat and drink and my friends and I have this mistaken of not farming or anything and we end up dying pretty quickly so now we've focused our attention on um, get, building a, a garden, building plants and like feeding cows as well. There's another thing. If you, if you want, like if you need to get some fluids, uh, make sure you break some corn, which is randomly placed around the map, and then just plant it down in front of the cow, and they'll eat it. And then they'll produce milk for you, so you can have, like, uh, fluids. And it also does your hunger as well. That's a small tip. Uh, with vehicles building, there it's it's like Gmod, uh, with the whole welding gun thing. It's not too complicated. Like, I... I, I I don't like overcomplicated things. Space Engineers is one of them. Gmod, I only could barely hassle and tackle. That wasn't, yeah, it's too, again, too complicated things. But with Scrap Mechanic, it's not as complicated as you think. Um, if you, you can get very, very creative with like doors and all sorts of structures in the game, as well as vehicles. I, I've seen people turn a hose pipe into a bloody uh, sprinkler system for their garden. <laughs> I, I'm not even joking. Uh, I've seen people store vegetables in their thing and have a cannon to shoot straight to the um, processing unit. I've seen some incredible things. I've in fact, I've seen a car needed to move with a van and they placed the car on top and then, oh man, it's, it's insane. You guys would love the game. If you've got a friend with you, it's even more funnier, but even with single player, it's great fun. I put a lot of time into this game, and uh, for it to be very positive reviews is perfect. And for the price itself is £14.99. That's not a bad price, mate, honestly. Uh, in, in US price? In US price, it's uh, $20 at least. So like t Almost $21. And um, yeah, honestly, it's a great game. I've had so much fun with it, and I can't wait to play more of it with my friends later on tonight on the stream. Um, and there's two more other things that are really, really cool. There is creative mode. If you want to build anything you want, uh, you can build anything you want. And the coolest thing is, you could send that to the Steam Workshop. Uh, they have tons and tons of creativity right there on their Steam Workshop page. And there are some crazy... They even got flying vehicles, man. Flying vehicles! That's insane! There's also another thing. If you don't want to do the survival mode, which is pretty cool, uh, they do have challenge modes where there's a list of different challenges where you have... To, I, I believe they give you things to build to get to A and B. I'm not a big fan of it myself, but uh, if, if you like creative puzzle games, then there's a challenge mode there. And yeah, that at least that keeps you at bay. Uh, as for me, I'm going to still be playing Scrap Mechanic Survival because there are still lots to explore. And the cool thing about it, these guys have been so active on their updates. Um, they've added, I believe they're adding a mine, mining facility soon, so that that's really cool. Uh, this, this game should have been on the MGN channel for a very long time. And yeah, that's my review on Scrap Mechanic. Honestly, great game. You guys need to check it out. If you, if you want a survival game, um, that is very interesting and very fun and very creative then jump on this game uh, you'll have tons and tons of fun and there is so much to do
This is Corn signing out. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. That will mean a lot to us. And also, don't forget to hit the Discord channel. And if you want to have a chat with me, just at me anytime or even private message me. I'm always available for anyone. You guys take care and have a wonderful day. Cheers and goodbye.